Hey there everyone, it's Ratna Hengebrook, and we're coming to you live with Kingdom Hearts 3. Welcome to part 28 of my Kingdom Hearts 3 Proud Mode Difficulty playthrough. And today we're going to continue on through the vents. Uh, this little pathway here sends you back towards where you came, I'm pretty sure, so you don't want to, uh, you don't want to go down there. It's just a quick way to get back if you needed to. Um, but yeah, we'll move on into this next room. This is the babies and toddlers room. So we go through here and we are searching for Ham, the pig. And there's, there's quite a few enemies to fight in this room. Good bit of tra uh, training for XP and stuff. <laughs> Jason Donald down. Absolute lunatic. <laughs> Legend. Ah, oh, he's absolutely doing it. Yeah, Woody and Buzz having a homoerotic moment there. Bit like Brokeback Mountain. Except with the Space Ranger. <coughs> Excuse me. So if you go to the right here, I've, I've spliced out a load of stuff because I, I ended up walking back down into those tunnels and it wasn't worth it. Basically it was just a waste of time so I cut that out. Uh, if you go to the right there you get a chest, it's a gold amulet. Not sure what it does, you can equip that if you need to. Do a big diving attack there. Buzzer strength has increased. You just gotta take down as many enemies as you can here. You can ignore them if you want and just run through, but wouldn't be much of a game if you just ignored all the enemies. There's the rocket again. Absolute heroic move. Some new enemies in here as well. Uh, the Heartless seem to take over other toys. So if they possess the other toys, I think they get a bigger health bar and stuff. Um, they do different moves, obviously. If you utilize this move, it is just beastly. I think this thing is like under some sort of. Or maybe not, maybe my arrows were just going elsewhere. I thought he was under some sort of uh, unbreakable spell or something. Level 13, we are plowing up the levels. Oh yeah, I was looking around, didn't really know which way to go, it doesn't really guide you at this point, but essentially you want to make your way over to the musical toads. I'm going to attack the cashiers, uh, cash registers here, not the cashiers. <laughs> you can get some money out of that. Don't think there was anything over that side. It's probably uh, emblems about somewhere. Excuse me. Yeah, these little pig enemies are so cool. They do some quite severe damage as well if you, uh, you don't play them right. That it's proper slow, but it's just the, the timing throws you off. Little dick. I love how it's a little demon toy. Like the friendliest game in the world. Demon toys everywhere. The horrifying kids. <laughs> but yeah, they're really stepping up the uh, the amount of enemies, just not the difficulty. Get used to the magic launcher here. Boom. Send him into oblivion. Level 13 for Goofy. You can just spam that move if you want, the finish is pretty powerful, if you hit them. If you miss them like I just did, it uh, doesn't do much. Rocket Ruckus. You'll nail that into them, blow them all to smithereens. There's far too many special moves at the moment. 
Just a crazy amount. It never used to be like this back in the day. Yeah, they're making games easier nowadays. It's been a while since I've had a challenging game. Having said that, I'm going to be playing Adventure Time at some point. I might do a playthrough, might do a walkthrough, might do a streaming or something. See how it goes. I've not played it yet, I've just downloaded it. I'm uh, planning on playing a bit of Apex as well. I'll be streaming that. Now that I've sorted my internet out as well, it's, uh, it's more doable. Hopefully there won't be much lag. You never know. So uh, Spanky is actually in that uh, little house thing. Spoiler alert there. But um, yeah, you want to go over to the musical frogs. I was just looking everywhere because I didn't know this at the time. And yeah, head on down. If you jump up there, basically there's a little uh, record player over there. You need to run over to that and jump on it. And then you'll start running on it. And then Woody helps you out running on it as well, so... <laughs> Plays a little tune for you. Obviously you can't hear it because I took out the sound. Here we go. Jogging competition. <laughs> you want to go over to the... Uh, I don't know what instrument that is. Tuba or something. But there's a there's an item in the tuber apparently which we need. Now the game gives you hints as to where it could be, but I just kind of walked over and found it straight away. See the guy there that's spazzing out in the middle, the purple guy. He's the one. He's got something in his tuber. <laughs> yeah. Making myself laugh there. Terrible. Yeah, this will proceed with a cutscene. <laughs> oh dear. Can't even remember what was in there. What's stuck in there? I'll get it out. So we're going deep inside. Oh, it's the army man, stuck in the goddamn tuba. What is the corporal doing? <laughs> oh no. Ham's over in the, uh, the little toy house. He looks rather unhappy for a frog playing a tuba. And if it's not a tuber, please let me know, because I really need to be educated in these things. Corporal's down, not good. Oh no, his toe's over. Salute. Cheers for your service, Corporal. That'll be all. Woody still jogging along for no reason. The moment's passed. What is going on? No one knows, Woody. No one's telling you to keep running. Little bit of cardio there. He's, <laughs> he's absolutely shed. So yeah, moving on to the next video, we're going to look for ham. I'll cut out a lot of the uh, the unnecessary stuff for you. Thank you for watching.
So if you made it this far, thanks for watching, and there's going to be plenty more content coming out real soon. And if you'd like to subscribe, like, dislike, comment, feel free to do so. And I'll bring you the next installment as soon as possible.